CF Moto. This is going to be the first CF Moto bike I've ever ridden. It's a 450 SS. Right? It's a super sport bike, 450 CC. So I'd imagine it's something like a Ninja 400. It looks pretty sweet. I like it, man. It's got a little slider here. It's a parallel twin. I think it's making about 40, 40-ish horsepower, maybe more than that. Got ABS, Brembo brakes in the front. Wow. A lot of these other bikes have J1 calipers, but these are, these, this one has Brembos. Yeah. It's got a sweet uh, electronic dash, too. Wow, I can't wait to take it out for a spin. I like that. I like that it has these canards here. That's really cool. I think the front looks really sweet. It's got an upside down front forks. I'd say, I don't know, that's around a 40 millimeter ish. Looks like it's got maybe, maybe like five to six inches of travel. Cool deal. Can't wait to go ride it. Okay, okay, guys, uh, not really. Uh, not, no room for passengers. Oh, there is. This is a this is a passenger seat. It's um, it's got foot pegs in the back, so it's got. <laughs> I guess you can have a passenger on it, dude. That seat is so tiny, man. <laughs> I'd imagine the passenger would not be very comfortable on this. It's got a cool canard, like a kind of scoops in the back. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of the, uh, the Yamaha sport bikes. Sweet. I like it. All right, let's make it here. While we're just kind of waiting here, I'm gonna go over the dash here. The dash is freaking sweet, dude. Um, there's a up, a down paddle, and an enter, and and like kind of backspace kind of uh, buttons on the left here. And so the top changes the odometer to, and trip, okay? And then the bottom changes like your miles per gallon, your miles per gallon per trip, your current, your miles per gallon. Okay, yeah, total. yeah, yeah. Uh, so the bottom one changes the trip and the odometer, your range, your uh, your voltage, your miles per gallon. It just gets like 61 miles per gallon. Pretty good, according to what the trip meter says. Um, and then there's an the enter and exit button, and that lets you change stuff on the thing. But I'm not gonna mess around with that, guys. <laughs> Very nice dash, man. Hayes Mega's got old bikes that don't have fancy electronics and stuff, and this is pretty awesome. And I can read it pretty well right now. It's about noonish. It's pretty bright. The refresh rate on the screen is very fast. All right, here we go. We're going out to ride. Hayes Mega's first time riding a CF Moto. All right, it is very aggressive riding position. Your, uh, your wrists will hurt after a while on this bad boy. <laughs> Hayes Meg is going to take this thing for a ride, and I'll give you my honest riding impressions of it, okay? Uh, Hayes Meg has ridden a similar bike to this, a Ninja 400, all right, and Ninja 300. I wish we could go on this little uh, racetrack here. That would be fun. The clutch is very light pull. Very light pull. Very easy to get it in gear, too. Okay, but you could still kind of ride it upright. Right, if you guys don't know, CF Moto is a Chinese company and they make like motorcycles all around the world. They make parts and motorcycles for, uh, for like big name manufacturers from what I heard, okay? I don't really know too much of them. They just kind of popped up on the radar and they're selling them now in the United States. All right, here we go. Looks like we get to head on out. Okay, tank, big meaty tank in between your legs. I'm like, you can straddle it pretty well. It looks like we're just gonna pass by the stop sign here. It's all good. 
we'll feel how tucking is. Wow, it's fl it's flick very flickable. Okay, well let's just go for a ride. So we're here at beautiful Laguna Seca and uh, we're going for a ride. I apologize if it's going to be pretty windy guys and I'm kind of, I, I don't have any say over the route or anything or how fast we go and what you know all that stuff you know hopefully hopefully the ride won't be boring is what I'm going to say all right. The seat feels pretty comfortable right now, but we'll see <laughs> in a bit. We're going down a pretty steep hill. It's a 16% grade. about 4,000 RPM here. I don't know if this has a quick shift or anything. I, I don't think it does. All right, but we'll see how well it shifts. Yeah, my wrists are already starting to hurt, guys. It has a, it's pretty jerky on and off throttle too. This guy trying to go through here. Oh boy. Crap ton of cars just came right now. We get to play catch up, that's what we get to do. Oh, are we going? Hard to shift without a. Uh... All right, we're moving. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to shift with uh... without the clutch. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. No. It doesn't have any kind of quick shifter or anything. <laughs> My ankle's kind of bad right now, so it, it kind of hurts to do the thing, you know. It feels really comfortable to ride it on the corner. So. We're doing about 50, 50, 60 miles an hour right now, and it looks like we've hit some traffic. here now. Dash is really sharp, really easy to read. I like that. On and off throttle, it jerks a bit. I don't like that. <laughs> you know, when you get off throttle and you get back on the throttle, there's a little, little jerk. Not super smooth. It's got a good amount of torque, is what I want to say. This bike has around 40 horsepower, so 
somewhere around there. The specs will be at the beginning of the video, guys. So if you want to see the specs and stuff, um, rewind to the beginning of the video. <laughs> I want to say, all right? All the price and all that stuff. I'll tell you now, the CF Moto motorcycles are very uh, competitively priced, all right? They're like a new company in the United States and, you know, they're trying to get their foot in the door. And they're, you know, their bikes are uh, priced competitively is what I would say, okay? I would say, yeah, the closest bike to this would be like a Ninja 400. That's, that's probably your biggest competitor for this bike. This does have 40, uh, it, let me see. This does have like 50 cc's on an Ninja 400 though, okay, so if the 450 is like really 450 cc's, yeah. It's got a Brembo, it's got a Brembo front caliper, I don't know if it has a Brembo master cylinder, kind of looks like a Brembo. All right, there is a gear indicator on the upper right. Your miles per hour is in the center. All right. I hope we're gonna get off of this road soon, man. I, I'm kind of bored. <laughs> All right, you've got a uh, temperature gauge on the left. Your fuel gauge is on the right, and then you got a tachometer sandwiched between the speedometer and the side gate. Very nice. Even the Ninja 400 doesn't have a kind of dash like this. That's, that's what strikes me as uh, the, you know, what stands out on this bike is this dash. It's very cool looking. <laughs> It's cool looking, it's easy to read, you know, not like the one on my Alta that's freaking horrible to read in the sunlight, you know. Now it's not super bright right now, but yeah. Let's go tuck down. All right, we're, tuck we're in a tuck right now. It's very aggressive riding position in your tuck. It's noisier too. We're doing about 50 right now, and it's just it's doing it no problem. Leading in a tank is pretty comfortable. Okay, fi finally we got off of this road. And hopefully we're gonna get to do some uh, twisty action. <laughs> I know there's some pretty sweet roads around here, so hopefully they know where they are. Yeah, the clutch is so light to pull. Also, there is a, I think there's a passing light. Oh, oh what did I do? Oh, I think that's a hazard light or something. There's like a trigger here. I'm not really sure what it does. I think it's a hazard. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a blink. It's a it's a high beam. Okay, so that little trigger on the left is a is a high beam. Um, you can press it forward to keep the high beam on. So let's keep them on. Let's see how good it goes over the bumps. Yeah, not bad. Okay, we're gonna make a right here. Come on, let's get to some corners. Oh, great, we gotta stop.
Okay, we're gonna go around this corner here. Whee! All right, speed bump, I mean, pothole test. Yeah, actually, actually, the ride quality is pretty good on it. I'm surprised. It's not, it's not harsh. So the suspension is kind of soft, guys. It's uh, tuned for comfort. Now, I really want to wind it out, man. Here, let's do it. All right, I'm going to downshift two. Okay, that's... Uh... Wow, man, it really wakes up around 8,000 RPM. <laughs> so, I think the red line is around 10,000. The, the gauge kind of starts flashing around that speed. Yeah, it's got a nice, nice power band. Like it, it, it kind of picks up past like 6,000. The, the exhaust note changes. <laughs> it's not super dupery torquey though. But yeah, you just really gotta wind it out, you know. Yeah, I'd imagine after a while your back, your booty, your wrists are gonna hurt on this thing. So it is, uh, you know, it's pretty, it's kind of an aggressive sport bike, all right? It goes through the, the gearbox nicely too. Opening it up. <laughs> nice. All right, we got some good. We got to test the acceleration there. Not bad. I I kind of short shifted it a little bit, but thanks thanks uh, lead <laughs> for the for the power test. Very easy to ride. This kind of just falls into the corners. Okay, now this road is kind of bumpy. Still pretty comfortable to ride. It's not, not a harsh ride at all. Pulls up this hill in fifth gear, no problem. right now I can rest my elbows onto my knees I wish this was a twister route man like we can't really where you really want to ride this thing is on the corners guys he's kind of this is like a cruiser ride guys <laughs> I want to take this out on uh, Laguna Seca, man. <laughs> on the racetrack, man. This would be a lot of fun on the racetrack, dude. Yeah, it's sweet. It looks nice. It's a nice looking bike. It doesn't it doesn't produce too much heat too. It's not too hot. I mean it's kinda cold right now, but yeah. But I don't really feel it producing all that much heat. Sixty-one miles per gallon it says. 
So expect that. Range is 90 right now. We're doing 144 miles per gallon right now. <laughs> I'm looking at the, the gauge. This bike has 1,269 miles on it. Oh, here we go. We got a turn coming up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're trying too much, Ace Vegas. We're not going fast at all. <laughs> But yeah, just look, kind of lean where you want to go, and it'll go, man. It's it's very easy to ride, just like a ninja. Oh, this just looks like a, this is it, man. This is another entrance right here. Shifting is great. It goes up and down nicely. Oh, here it goes. Bumpy road test. Oh, okay. Yeah, for something like that, it's pretty bumpy. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Not bad. Yeah, it's uh, it's 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 comfy to ride. That's for sure. <laughs> Obviously, our ergonomics are not very comfortable, guys. It's very sport, sport bikey. I feel like I can't, like, like to fully tuck, I can't get my head all the way up, you know? It hurts my neck, too, so to tuck. Okay, so I think uh, we're, that's pretty much it. We're kind of going back to the racetrack right now. And so here's my... Uh, initial riding uh, uh, impressions of uh, the 450 SS. It's definitely, you know, it's definitely competitive with the Ninja 400. It's got a very nice dash, you know. It's got lot, lots of electronical features. Um, it shifts up and down very nicely. Uh, it has an aggressive riding position, yet it's still, it's not super duper aggressive, so it, it's not too bad, you know. But, you're, yeah, you're definitely leaning. I guess, I mean, if you lean on the tank, you can, uh, the, the pressure from your wrist, you know. Whoa, 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 man. There it is. Laguna Seca, guys. Test the brakes out. Okay, yeah, I'm actually very impressed by it, um, and it looks like a whole lot of fun to ride. So, uh, I wish we could have taken it on more twisty stuff, but unfortunately we couldn't. It's got a decent amount of power. It really wakes up around like six or 7,000 RPM. You can hear the exhaust note just change. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that, uh, the uh, CF Moto 450 SS demo ride. Uh, if I was in the market for a, you know, small uh, sport bike, then uh, I would definitely look into this. It's got a nice body, it's got a nice dash, and it's fun to ride. Decent power. We can do the slow race here. All right, there we go. Okay, kill switch here. Turn the bike off. Side scan down. Sweet. I really enjoyed it. It's a sweet looking bike too. 
Nice. All right. Thanks for watching. Here's the out.